Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's Anthony Lewis, as you guys already know. With Selena's, I started from scratch. And as you guys already know, I, I stay having a new entrepreneur and a new guest for you guys to come through and drop us some gems. I'm so excited because we have a special guest in here today, you guys, from photography, from, you know, weddings, parties, kids and yellows, uh, uh, from, you know, when it comes down to parties, when it comes down to photography, it's DJing. Today we have the Event Heroes of Tampa Bay, and we have Mr. Donald Stokely in here today, you guys. I want to thank him so much for being here, Mr. Stokely. Thank you so much for coming through. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you. Let, let me stop by. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, the Event Heroes of Tampa Bay, and you guys know, I go on and on all day about our entrepreneurs that come through. I really appreciate the Event Heroes of Tampa Bay because they have contributed so much to Selena's. You guys might not even know there are so many things behind them that has even you know contributed to my success when it came down to learning business or even the website that you guys are using this is all credit to these guys you know and they are such a blessing to me and my business and i want to make sure you guys got a chance to really get to know them because they are really doing business out here and you know we get entrepreneurs in here that have been doing it for some time y'all know i am tuned in just as well as you guys so I did want to let you guys know that. And as you know, we you guys, we do this for the entrepreneurs that have, you know, they want to start business. You guys, you know, haven't really, you know, scared to get out there, scared to get your feet wet. You want to do something, you have talent, you have a passion, you just haven't got out there. Or even, you know, if you're around the world and there's different things that you want to do and you're letting fear hold you back. We have the show just to share with you guys what we're doing with entrepreneurs even that have been in business longer than me are doing and how things are going for them. So before I start talking and blab on all day long, we're going to get into it today with Mr. Stoker. How is everything going? Been a busy day? Everything has been great. Yes, it's been a quite a busy day, especially on a Labor Day for some reason, but I'm glad to be here. Absolutely. You know, me too. It's, well, I guess work never really stops. Even on never. holiday, I figured never. that out. <laughs> but you're an entrepreneur. I mean, you know, the thing is, is that we have no breaks. So you, you pretty much... You know, it may be a holiday for our corporate folks, but for us, we can't sleep and we can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. That's how. Yeah, absolutely, I felt that today. I definitely felt <laughs> that. I was like, man, I'm supposed to be chilling today. It's Labor Day. Well, as you guys know, that's another tip for you guys to take when it's coming down the holidays and things like that. We might not necessarily have them like everybody else, just like Mr. Stoker said. But well, we're gonna get into it, Mr. Stoker, so he can share a story with us today. So, Mr. Stoker, first question that I have for you today is, you know. Tell us, tell us, you know, all our viewers about your business, what it is you do, and how you got started. What's your story? Certainly. So, um, again, my name is Donald Stokely, the Bear Heroes of Tampa Bay. For the longest, it wasn't that name. That name actually came about about five years ago. Um, I started out as Stokely Signature Designs around 2007. Um, to, give you, to, to give you a little bit more information about us, we started out with a, as a grassroots photography group. That means I was local club picture man, okay? So, <laughs> I remember that. If, if you did parties back in the day at the IBW Hall and that Stefner, that was this guy. It was me, and as a matter of fact, that's where I met my beautiful wife, Mika. Uh, we started yeah, out Mika. just taking Pika, uh, pictures, um, selling them for $5, $10, whatever the case may be, just so that we could build collateral and uh, continue on um, busy, building the business. Um, so yeah, 07, and of course, from then on, it just it just continued to grow. Um, started doing weddings, parties, and you know, really we did, for the longest, we did not um, invest in online marketing. We didn't do much with websites. Everything was based on word of mouth. And if I have any advice to give you guys out there, it's really, you have to work on building your brand and building your following. And once you get that following and you get people to vouch for you, business will come. It may not come as fast as you would, you would like for it to come, but it'll come at a rate to where you're able to keep up. So um, yeah, so we pretty much grew from a grassroots business to where now we're doing um, not just photography, but we're servicing um, video uh, production as well as offering DJ services. And we also do uh, photo booths as well. And we actually build photo booths from scratch. Oh, yeah, building a whole photo booth. Photo booths from scratch from our garage. So everything is done in house. Uh, I work on the technology side. Uh, my uh, 
big guy, my carpenter friend uh, with A Simple Man Designs. He actually does a lot of the carpentry work and we just work together and collaborate together in making sure if we, we build a, a photo booth that has that gives you and, and the viewer um, a great experience whenever they visit our photo booths at weddings. So that's pretty much what we've been doing. We've been doing it now for uh, a good little minute and it's, 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 it's booming and uh, you know, I guess right now the cha the main challenge is trying to just keep up. You know, there's only one me. Exactly. There's only one Mika, so we have to build. It, you know, from then on, we had to just continue to build our network. Um, we rely on our friends to help us out with um, servicing those weddings. So you know, it's all about duplication. Right. Um, I had to duplicate myself, and then of course, at the same time, I had to grow and blossom from a photographer into a DJ. I had to transition. I had to make that quick transition only because it just helps with the business. And, um, you know, I always say you can't run a business without knowing what's going on in your business. Exactly. Right. So if you don't know, not to say that everybody has to be a great DJ, but you at least need to know how to know where to go to plug, plug the speakers and where to plug the DJ board so that you can make things happen in case you're called upon. So right. that's what I've been up to for the past you five, it. 10 years. It's, listen, they've been <laughs> in it for a minute and they've been, been doing an awesome job. These guys have done so much, like I told you, even for me. And so don't you say, y'all, listen, back in the day, I would say, listen, I probably got a whole photo album of color <laughs> photos. So we probably met a long time ago. <laughs> Bro, I, I worked at it. I I, I, would I got a whole uh, photo album full of club for me and my cousins. So listen, you probably ran it to me a handful of times. More than likely, yes, sir. <laughs> and shout out to Miss Mika. Uh, that is Mrs. Stoker's beautiful wife. Miss Miss Mika is the one of our love, Miss Mika the Dell. She is the sweetest person you ever want to meet. So thank you so much, Miss Mika, for letting Miss Stoker come through and, and me interrupting y'all time. So thank you so much. Shout out to you. Um uh, get into our next question with Mrs. Stoker. So since you've been in business, like you said, you've been doing it for some time now. Uh, what would you say, you know, for the entrepreneurs that are watching, people want to get into business? What is most challenging in business since you've been into it? Is there anything that's pretty, that's challenging that you? I think for for the most part, and I think I touched on this on, on my spiel previously, but it's really duplicating yourself, right? And being able to, if if you're in a service industry, it's it's different from being in a. Uh, commodities industry to where commodity or if you're selling a bottle of water or whatever you can duplicate that on and on again right? right but you can't duplicate yourself the only thing you could do is of course the best you could do is to find people that you can rely on that can that you can send out to different jobs so for example with us there may be times when we're double triple four book and i have to it's it's my job from that point to make sure i uh, uh find the right vendors that are going to service our customers that stays on brand of what Event Heroes uh, puts out there, you know? Um, so that's the most challenging, especially now during the pandemic, because at the end of the day, we're not dealing with this, we're dealing with people. Right. And during this pandemic, um, what we found is that people <laughs> are, are our va most valuable resource. Yeah, absolutely. You know, they, they are our most important resource. And, you know, there may be, a, a vendor, a photography vendor right here that I normally would count on, but of course they may have a situation that would elim uh, eliminate them from a job mainly because of a family member at home that they have to care for, mm -hmm. you know, and they have to think about that. So we just have to be careful. And um, right now that's in these times, that's the most challenging part of the business and trying to keep up and, you know, you never want to tell a client who comes in and say, Hey, look, we would like to hire you. Can, are you booked? Well, what if, if I'm double booked, I need to know that I can say yes. Right. You know, you never want to tell them no, and only because once you start telling people no, they forget about you. Exactly. So, you know, you want to stay, you want, you want to stay in front of people you and you want to make sure that you have the right people to help back you up. So a nice, a great support system is what we do have at Event Heroes. Um, we have about five photographers. We rely on three to four DJs. And uh, I have a bunch of teen over, teenagers that I rely on, <laughs> including my son. That is, oh, you got him in there too? That, look, it's a family business. <laughs> family business is a family business. That's right. Pretty soon, my six-year-old will, will be helping too, you know. Um, so that's what we rely on. You know, they, they help out with the photo booth or just picking up stuff. You know, I'm, look, I ain't no spray chicken. Okay, so, you know, th this bag is not the way it was. No, so, absolutely. You know, carry, 
heavy boxes and, and, and speakers and stuff like that. I leave that for the young folks. Listen, you're right, because I've been putting Caleb to work myself. I've got him washing dishes, mopping the floor, exactly. and drying pans, and then he, Look, he tired of me. If you, if, you, if you like this food and you like this house, right. you go. He'll be baking cake next year. Exactly. You better get, get baking these cakes, brother. <laughs> And like you say, that's another thing with me, like to duplicate yourself, and, and I'm glad you shared that because I am trying to work on that too. And it's it's and sometimes it's definitely difficult, especially when you're looking for people to do things the same way that you do it. So I think I struggle yeah. with that myself. Exactly. Um, when work, I'm getting we're getting better with yeah. that, you know, with Selena. So we and, and like yeah. you say, it's family business. You're yeah. getting people in. My family, are y'all taking note of this? Time to <laughs> the whole family tuned in to the business. I want y'all to make sure that y'all taking notes on this for Selena. Y'all, y'all catch this. Make sure you catch this. Exactly, exactly. And it's not even just going out to like, for example, you know, it's it's about having the right support system. So it's not even just about going to those jobs. I mean, hell. As long as I can have somebody staying home watching a kid, then that means I can bring Mika out, exactly. and we can we can we can do gigs together yeah, or whatever, or, or, or separate. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's it's just having that that support system. So we rely on my sister in law, mother in law, whoever it is. We have a very very tight knit family, and I'm blessed to have that. That's and blessed amazing. to say that I have that because yes, we we rely on those folks on a daily. And uh, yeah, it's it's it's. It's been great so far. That's amazing. That's, That's definitely amazing. See, I'm, I told y'all, my family, if y'all are watching, <laughs> Mr. Stoker is preaching uh -oh. the word right I think, now. <laughs> I think I may have started something. Hey, look. <laughs> he preaching the word right now. So we're going to get up to our next This is not going to mess up my cake orders. No, no. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no, all processes are okay, okay, good. Okay. <laughs> Now, okay, so I know, and like you explained, us, you're doing a whole lot of business stuff, and you and Miss Mika, y'all have a whole lot going on. Do you set any, as far as, like, our next question for you would be, as far as your plans? And I won't say, like you guys know, I don't say five-year plans or ten-year plans, because, like I say, we're not in school or college, so we don't have to wait a certain time before this takes off and get to where we need to be. Uh, as far as goals and plans and things, what do you see yourself have what or have what have you been working on to finish the year off regardless of how the beginning of the six months was it great awesome and how do you your goals what do you have been planning for the next six months or the end of the year right? well typically what we do is we um our process is, is that our end of the year planning happens last year gotcha so once q4 happens we start we start our marketing um we start go ahead and we, we start with our marketing campaign campaigns for the following year. Right. Um, we start budgeting for the following year. So we like to plan ahead so that we stay ahead. Right. And the, the way, especially the way the wedding um, industry is, is that, you know, it's not like weddings are gonna, somebody's gonna call you today. I mean, it happens, but not often. Somebody's not, not everybody's gonna call you today for a wedding tomorrow. That's not how it goes. It's more like, hey, look, I've got a wedding a year from now. I've got a wedding six months from now. So that's how our booking starts. So basically, we we aim to fill up our calendar for the entire year, right? right? So every weekend, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm still in the corporate world. Um, so I have a regular Monday to fr uh, Monday to Friday gig, um, and this is the reason. This is one of the reasons why I'm in the wedding industry because, of course, weddings usually happens from Friday all the way through Sunday. Sometimes you'll get a Sunday, a one-off Monday and Tuesday wedding. Uh, that's a destination wedding, but usually. In mm -hmm. most cases, yeah. it's weekends. Right. So it's a great weekend gig for us. It's a week. It's a great way for us to get away from our corporate jobs. <laughs> <laughs> um, but at the end, yeah, we do a lot of planning um, and, and strategizing um, the year before, so that we can be uh, ready uh, for whatever whatever it gets thrown at us. And of course, we always have those one-offs that are last minute or late minute. So we're all, we're always ready for that uh, whenever it comes. So that's that's pretty much how our Y'all already know we are. I'm taking notes. I hope y'all taking notes because, like Mr. Stokely say, y'all pretty much already working on next year. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm constantly thinking of, well, what's gonna, what's, what's the next thing that we're, what's the off, what's the next offer? How are, how am I gonna attract people for 2022, 2023? Um, only because, I mean, obviously now we're we're towards work towards Q4. It's right. pretty much over. That's I mean, right. Year's pretty much done. The only thing that I'm focusing on in, in Q4 would be Christmas parties and holiday parties. And you only get um, an opportunity to do that for three weekends before Christmas. Right. So, you know, and then of course, after that is, is New Year's. So we already booked for New Year's. 
I would want. Oh, really? Yeah, man. Look, they ain't wasting no time. Look, we, they, they are not wasting any time. New Year's is like one of the biggest events for a DJ. Like, oh, yeah. that's when you... Secret sauce, <laughs> we can actually charge three times the amount only because it's New Year's. It you know, New everybody Year. wants music, everybody wants DJ, so of course, so we go by the Business 101, love, supply, and demand. That's so right. look, if you want a DJ for New Year's, you and, if you, and if you call in three months before, sorry to say, chances are you're gonna have to pay more than what the guy paid two years in advance or a year in advance. Exactly. You know? So that's how that's just how it goes. So I guess it's all about being proactive. It's all that, about being proactive. Mr. Stokely got me ready because <laughs> I'm telling you, the way that they run their business and how he explained it to me, how how he's explained it to us too. Have me ready to get down on my pen and pad once I get done and make sure do I have this in line, do I got this? And, and that's what it's all about because, you know, I'm inspired and I'm sure some of you guys are too because what we'll see is, you know, what we want to be. You see what I'm saying? We see some of these businesses that have been doing business for some time and over time they've gotten greater and greater at what they do and managing business and, you know, getting out to people. And this is, you know, exactly why we have the show because we have, you know, entrepreneurs like Mr. Stokely who they are taking care of things. They are doing the thing out here. This is what I'm trying to get to. You understand what I'm saying? That's right. And we're going to get into it uh, because, I, you know, I like to let you guys know entrepreneurship is real. We are doing it. I don't want you guys to think that, you know, everybody, we're just jumping into this or, you know, some started working one day at a job. It was just like, you know, I want to do this. I want to I be an entrepreneur. I want to work for myself. There's a lot more than that. And as we get into our next question, I'm going to let Mr. Stokely explain. Uh, so, you know, he did explain to us, you and Ms. Mika, y'all still doing our corporate job. Mm -hmm. You run a business. I know you have a son. You got the six-year-old. Yep. Leah, let me tell you, <laughs> you they, they have a whole life going on. And I'm sure you guys want, you know, have vacations and things going yeah. on. When it comes down to business, how is everything balancing out? Tell us about life and business and balancing everything out. How is that working out for you? Man, look here. It's almost like you're... I'm juggling four of these at the you know all at one time, and it's really just about preparation. You know, it goes back to waking up at four o'clock in the morning, even though you don't want to. Right. Um, mainly because I have to clock in at my corporate job at eight o'clock. So what do I what do I have to do? I have to wake up at four o'clock just so I can take care of some emails and respond and, and fill in quotes before I actually get dressed to go to my regular job. So it's it's preparation that that's always key, um, and also just. Just understanding and, and prioritizing certain things in life. Obviously, like you mentioned, vacations. We actually, for the first time in a long time, as a family, we actually went to New Orleans on vacation right. uh, just this past summer. I know it's during the pandemic, but we actually got to see some family and stuff like that. So it was great to be able to go out. And really, that took a lot of preparation and and strategizing and seeing where in our calendar, where do we have holes in our calendar? And of course, in our industry, especially in fact, for the fact in Florida, it's usually slower during the summer season. You know, we don't do a lot of weddings. I don't like to do weddings in the summer. It's hot. It's hot, y'all. Look, the last time I did a wedding in the summer, it was like September in St. Augustine. Okay. And I thought I was going to die. But, you know, Aside from that, <laughs> you know, it's just, you know, juggling, juggling, I have, you know, aside from business, I have the kids, my son plays basketball, so he plays AAU ball, so I'm, I'm, I'm very active in that. Aside from that, we're all, I'm also, I also coach at the Skill Center okay. um, here in Tampa um, whenever I have time, and that's normally during the summer. Um, so it's just, it's just, you know, a, a, a balancing act and making sure you prioritize what's important to you. Right. Um, never forgetting about those kids because they're the most important to me That's uh, and to Mika. So, um, you know, we, we, we do a very good job with just tag teaming. Like Mika will, you know, when you see me, you're probably not going to see Mika because Mika's elsewhere doing something else or handling, handling business at home, at home. And, and that's the most important thing. We never forget about home life. Uh, we make sure that when we're home, we're home, put down the devices, you know, I look, Y'all see me on TikTok. Y'all see me on Instagram. I like to I like to clown around from time to time and do dad jokes and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, it's just really prioritizing and just making sure you take care of the people who you need to take care of, and everything else will uh, watch out for itself. Right. Yep. Listen, I, Mr. Stokely is dropping some gems in here today. Y'all see me? Y'all probably like Anthony is like because I am taking all this in because as as you guys know, the entrepreneurs that come in here, they tell a lot of things and they give so many gems. 
they drop us so many so much information and i'm like eating this up at the same time as y'all because I'm, I'm, it's duly noted because i'm like okay it's some different things i need to switch up some things and take some steps so yeah. that is exactly why we are here today um mr stover came through and as you guys know Everybody who comes through, we always want to look out for them and bless them with something. Now, we did have an entrepreneur that came through. I'm going to tell y'all two things. Now, we had an entrepreneur that came through, especially when he was speaking about vacations and prioritizing. I definitely know what he's saying with that because she told me, she her name is uh, Sistina Styles and she mm -hmm. owns a hair salon. She sells wigs and she has um, different ladies that are in working in the shop for her mm -hmm. working on another one. But she had took a trip as well, and she went on a trip, I believe, like a week or two weeks, and she went from the snow to the to the sun. <laughs> and she was like, it had been in planning for, I think she yeah. said, over a year. So I'm like, okay, when you are doing business, it's actually that prioritizing planning. Sometimes you're so busy, but she planned it out. She took a while and enjoyed herself, but being that business woman and your business, sometimes you it might take you a bit before you get a chance to go and do what it is that you want. Yeah. But I guess that's a part of you know running business out. And that's what I say. Don't dis don't get discouraged when things don't happen in the time that you feel it should happen. Things will things things will pick up in time. Right. You know. You just have to be patient with it, and um, you you can't rush. Through it. My uh, mentor, uh, Charles Henderson, who owned H1040 Tax, God rest his soul, he passed away a couple years, uh, actually right before the pandemic. He always told me this, don't go into business, grow into business. That's it. I, that's the most important thing. Like I keep that in the back of my mind. You know, you don't want to just go, go, you don't want to just invest, invest, invest all your time and then you're, you're putting all your energy into this, but you know, and then of course you run out of gas afterwards. Grow into it. Grow into it, ease your way into it, and then think good things will happen eventually. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. That's a definite word for us. And now we have another entrepreneur. I believe she it wasn't last week, maybe it was a week prior to last week that came through. And she has a business that is uh it's a, a chocolate business. It's an edible an edible canvas uh business. I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, her name is uh Dominicia Marshall. The name of the business is Coco Dia Moore. And we, you know, Mr. Stover came through and we thank him so much for his time. So we had something made for the event heroes in Tampa Bay. Oh, yeah. And this is an edible canvas from her. And wow. Said, thank you to the event heroes. Wait a minute. Can I eat this? Eat that. Man, I ain't going to eat this. I'm going to put this on. <laughs> this is amazing. That's awesome. Yeah, she came through. I like that. That is from an entrepreneur that came through to the business. Chocolate. Yeah, it's white chocolate. It's, and the whole <laughs> thing is edible. It's a, it's a yeah, it's. And she does a whole lot of different things, and she makes. Like, What's her name? Her name is Dominicia Marshall. Dominicia Marshall. Yeah. Dominicia, good job. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. And as you guys know, now if you guys want to try Selena's Red Velvet, you know that you can reach us at selenasred.com. You can find us on Instagram at underscore selenasred underscore. We are also on Facebook at Selena's Red Velvet. Now, uh, if you guys want to try Selena's, we are shipping. And if you're not in the States, you can visit the website. We can help you out with that as well. Uh, make sure you're tuned in. If you're new to the channel, you can subscribe to the channel. I will leave that information below for you guys. I'm also going to let Mr. Stoker share his information so you guys can find out where you can find the Event Heroes of Tampa Bay and get all of this business that they have there sharing with us and all these different, I'm telling you, from photography, from uh, DJing, from, you know, everything that you need, they have it. So, Mr. Stoker, you want to share that information? Of course, you can hit us up on our website at www.eventheroesoftampabay.com. That's heroes with a E S. So it's event H E R O E S of Tampa Bay.com. You can also um, see all of our newest and latest things that we've got going on on our Instagram page. That's where we most mostly post uh, a lot of our uh, content. That's at Instagram.com slash event heroes of Tampa Bay. So yeah. Hit us up. And I'm going to make sure I list that information down below for you guys as well. I will keep Mr. Stokely tuned in. So if you guys have questions or concerns, make sure you guys leave them down below. And make sure you reach out to the Event Heroes of Tampa Bay. Now, before we check out, you guys, Mr. Stokely, can you hit that famous line for us? Please? Hey, for real. <laughs> My name is Donald Stokely with the Event Heroes, and we are made from scratch. Y'all have a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Take it easy.